that brings me to another thing when people find for example what happens in in banaras things like aghoris people some people foreigners and they talk to me they also find that insanity they think what is this i mean like you know people are going and 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 you know doing bizarre things you know eating dead bodies or you know experimenting with various other things what is it also is something which i think for everyone it will be they good if not, you explain that they have not probably visited the scientific laboratories biological laboratories where they are doing absolutely bizarre things with various creatures yes or no yeah all that is done with the intention of well being how much well being comes out of it we don't know isn't it once in a way something comes out rest of the time we are only doing bizarre things in the laboratories aren't we even in, even in a high school if you study biology you are cutting open frogs and looking into this and that yeah. it's quite bizarre yeah isn't it quite bizarre yes it is it's quite bizarre but all of us have done it and continuing to do it as if that's the only way to learn so what they are doing is as i said there is still prana in the body that is dead so they are sitting there if you go there to manikarnik and harishchandra ghat agoris will be sitting there watching everybody who will come they inquire how old is this person how did he die that's why some of them who don't want that to be known they covering with plastic sheets you know where people cannot see how old is the person they won't say how old was the person but the agoris want to know if it's a young person somebody who was vibrant life and for some reason he died they want that kind when that happens they want to do work there they want to make use of the energy that's released once the body begins to burn this prana has to exit immediately when that exits they want to make use of that life energy to do something with themselves now people won't give it to them because they don't want their dear ones to be used like this so what these people will do if it is there they'll grab the body and run so right now don't you go to africa and catch thousands of monkeys and bringing it to bring it to <laughs> your laboratory to cut them and to do all kinds of experiments all the monkeys are thinking what's wrong with these people why are they doing these bizarre things to us yeah but they are alive and you can see that uh, the, you are you are injecting chemicals in them and you see the reaction yes. and then you decide that's but what here I'm the, the body here, is dead that's what i'm saying if the nails are growing if the hair is growing some life still exists right that part of the life they want to use they don't want to do a live person because it will lead to human sacrifice they don't want to do that they waiting for the dead to come what energy is released from the dead body from cremation they want to use that if you do not know the science of that you cannot just think it's all bizarre yes it's an extreme way of doing things it is not for everybody it is something that should be done without you know without coming into the notice of a society but unfortunately everywhere there is population today there was a time they would be here there would hardly be anybody they would do what they want to do for their growth and well being oh let me be a little cynical here what is the contribution to of an agori to the society to a human kind what have they done for us i mean if you talk about science i can say yes those monkeys which have been used ultimately you've got some medicines you've got some 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 certain things which you can fight the diseases and stuff like that but what has an agori given to the world which they should be proud of and we should give them a sanction to uh, do things which uh, a human being does not find palatable what is beneficial to our society and what is not at different times different times in history different things people think is beneficial in for example in tamil nadu in ancient tamil history the greatest title that a man can receive is aayir aane konnavan that means one who killed slain 1000 elephants he is the real man well virappan is almost halfway there why do you treat him as a criminal just why don't you provide him with another 500 he claims he's killed some 500 and odd elephants if you provide him another 400 and odd he will be the greatest man in tamil nadu why don't you give him out of time isn't it exactly not contextual not contextually right so now whatever you're talking of science as creating great benefits it is only contextual now 
Already it's beginning to happen, all the environmentalists are trying to block, block every scientific thing. Because people are beginning to understand, in the name of development, we're completely destroying the very source of our well-being. Tell me, what is it that's destroyed this planet? It is essentially technology, isn't it? Yeah, but technology is, is coming out of the yes, desire to be wanting more. Yes, it's driven by that. But I'm saying what provided, what facilitated? There were Alexander the Greats who wanted to conquer the whole world, but they couldn't do it. But it is the technology which did it, isn't it? Yeah. So is technology bad? No. It is just that it's in the wrong hands how it is used. So the type of technologies which were fifty years ago, now we are looking down at it. How could somebody do this nonsense? If you see a chimney spewing smoke, today you think, oh my god, they're polluting. Hundred years ago when they saw a chimney in Manchester city, they thought, wow, isn't it? So you are saying that agoris have become uh, out of context? No, I'm not saying they're out of context. They have no context to the society. Their context is their ultimate well-being. They are only looking at the ultimate nature. How the society is today, they know and we know that what is true today will be looked down upon tomorrow, what is great today will be thought as the most horrible thing day after tomorrow. This will anyway happen in the social structure. You are made to believe that this is it and tomorrow your next generation will stand up and say what you did is the most idiotic thing, what you thought was a great thing. So they are not getting involved in the context of the society. They are only involved in the ultimate nature of their being. So they don't care what the society thinks. So they always stayed away from society. But today society is occupied just everything. They have no place to be. By that logic, we can define any, uh, you know, we can justify any perversion. See, they are not causing harm to anybody. Never are they causing harm to anybody. Have you heard of any Aghori attacking anyone? No. No, he is doing something with himself. He is not in some other... See, see, people are taking drugs, people are drinking themselves to death, people are smoking and blowing it in your face. They are not doing any of those things, they are in remote places doing their own thing with themselves, not with somebody else. Yeah, that's a, that's the point. That's the point. They, sh they, are, they are free to do uh, what they want. Only with themselves, they are not doing it with anybody else. As far as they don't... Yes. As far as they don't scare the society, as far as they don't... See, the scaring the society is because society is just... Populations have exploded and we are just everywhere. Yeah. Where is a secluded place, tell me? I, that's a point. <laughs> that's a point that he, if they want to live... And this explosion of uh, population is society's... Society is a culprit, not agoris. They don't reproduce at least. Yeah.